finally, an affordable lithium iron phosphate battery from a company called Redodo. Let me tell you just how good of a deal this is. So everything going up in the world, but lithium iron phosphate batteries are coming down. Thank you, free market capitalism. Let me tell you how good of a deal this is compared to my calculations. This is a high quality battery from a company called Redodo, and they are very, very affordable compared to the other leading brands. So this 12 volt, 100 amp hour uh, battery is good for 4,000 plus cycles, uh, current cost of in Canadian dollars, 379 bucks. By my calculations, that is seven and a half cents a kilowatt. Okay, seven and a half cents a kilowatt. Battleborn batteries are the next kind of leading battery. This battery in a Battleborn is, uh, last time I checked, $874 and is good for a little more cycles, 5,000 cycles. But it has a total overall cost of uh, nearly 14 cents a kilowatt hour by my calculations. Renogy is another popular brand. The Renogy battery, 12 volt, 100 amp hours is 500 bucks Canadian. Good for 2000 cycles, which brings that to nearly 20 cents a kilowatt hour. So by my calculations, this guy here is nearly half the price as the other leading comparisons. And I see absolutely nothing wrong with it. It looks very, very high quality. It's got a good strap on here. It's got the standard terminals, positive and negative on it. And I'm not gonna dig into the, here, frankly, I don't know enough about them to, to tell you what's going on inside, but I did watch a bunch of other videos and looked up a whole bunch of information. I see no difference compared to other batteries. So this guy, is lithium iron phosphate. It is good for 1,280 watts of continuous peak output. So what can you do with something like this? You can run a standard refrigerator for 12 hours, a television for six hours, water pump, 500 watt water pump for two and a half hours. You can run a standard coffee maker for one and a half hours. You can run a thousand watt microwave for 1.2 hours for 1,280 watts. Okay, so it's a powerful little battery. So I could see, like, look at one handed compared to a lead acid. It's pretty incredible. You can c connect, uh, I believe, up to 16 of these batteries in parallel if you want. But Redodo also has not just this is what they call their mini. They also have the big ones if you want to do a bigger system, right? I got this one specifically to charge my million USB devices. This microphone I'm using, the microphone other part on the camera, the camera equipment, camera batteries, earbuds, headphones, speakers, walkie-talkies, ham radios, two-way radios, drones, kids controllers, and then all of my other types of batteries, AA, AAA, rechargeable, and these other guys that I use for all that. So hooking a solar panel up to this guy and making this be able to charge all my other little stuff, that's what I got this mini for, and it's gonna be all that I need to literally cover all of my little USB equipment that I'm still using AC power for, because I'm not off the grid yet, so I'm gonna do a little solar system. Now, when I say that this is affordable lithium iron phosphate, so 4,000 plus cycles on this, or 10 years is what this battery gives you at a total cost of all in 7.4 cents a kilowatt. When you go off grid in my province, I have all my province's information. Um, you only get seven and a half cents so essentially the same as this as a credit. So if you do a grid tie system and send them back and sell them energy, you they only give you seven and a half cents. Meanwhile, they charge you. I printed it off here. An arm and a leg, of course. So depending on your plan, <clears throat> where I live, 
Uh, it's a $30 basic monthly charge for their delivery or whatever. And then it's uh, residential rates, 15 cents a kilowatt hour is what you're buying. What I'm currently buying electricity from my grid for 15 cents. But this is 10 years storage for seven and a half cents. So just, I'm just doing some crazy math, kind of getting excited, right? And when you're on the grid, and then, oh, 15 cents plus a one cent federal plant food carbon tax to help my plants in the greenhouse here or something. That is the cost. That is what is happening because of climate change. So 16 cents for grid power plus a $30 monthly fee. And you can get bad, or electricity storage now from this company for half the prices you get it, buy it from the grid for without carbon tax increases and without them increasing prices, which happens... Uh, where I live, it's like 4% uh, every year, it seems. That is the issue we have. Okay, now on top of that, of course, to go off-grid, you need, you know, a lot of battery storage. You need solar panel, solar panel racking, all of your other component components, charge controllers, inverters, wiring, whoop, some panel stuff and everything. But, at, like, literally, why would I go grid-tied? They, they only give you 7.5 cents when you sell it back. Like I'm thinking, even though I have the grid available, it might be cheaper or better to go off grid because you buy this and then it's an inflation hedge for the 10 years or something that it works. And then you deal with whatever problems uh, at that point. So the free market's so good, these might be significantly cheaper than the grid. So, so everything I looked at these uh, Redotos is, is the same as any other lithium iron phosphate. Grade A cells. 4,000 cycles, 10 years. They have sales all the time and there's a Black Friday sale coming up. I don't know exactly what it is, but go purchase directly from their website. And they were actually friendly enough to give me a discount uh, coupon code Arcopia for 4% uh, off if you want to make a purchase just through their website. So in Canada right now, this guy is... I just printed this off to show you, $379 Canadian. Okay, if you're lucky enough to live in the States. Oh, and in Canada, if you buy multiples, there's a discount on multiples, but watch for their sales, plus 4% with their Copia coupon code, which brings it way further down than seven and a half cents a kilowatt hour. Amazing, I'm so excited to find out like these are getting this inexpensive. Um, in the States, what do you have to pay? 240 bucks US for this guy. Okay, there's a few things I want to tell you about this battery though. Okay, when you get it, they, they have an awesome instruction manual. So I'm still learning about 12 volt and, and DC electricity and all this solar panel stuff and, and how to do it properly. But they tell you very clear directions kind of what capacity it's at, if you're not gonna use it right away, what to do for long-term storage, the temperature rating for this. It uh, won't charge below freezing with this standard one, but they, I did see they do sell one that, that's got a little heater in it so it can charge to minus 20 Celsius, uh, which is kind of cool. But I got this one because of my USB thing is gonna be in a climate controlled shop is where I'm setting up my USB hub uh, deal. But just keep that in mind. If you're doing this for a van or a ice shack or something, it's not going to charge below freezing. So you, you get the, they have the one from Redodo, the heater one or whatever. Sh tells you very simply, essentially have it standing upright. Uh, do not disassemble the battery. So I could take this apart and show you the guts of it. Uh, like I, I could, I saw videos how to do that, but I'm not going to. <laughs> so... Very good. Stickers you get, and here's the product manual. Very nice manual, very well written. Color manual tells you everything you could possibly need to know about this. Very, very good. I am very, very impressed with the quality and the price so far on this thing. The, the max solar panel that I can put on this guy is 300 watts, it says, but on a 300-watt panel, it charges this battery completely in five hours. So then you've got uh, 1,280 watts for, for at night, which should be plenty for all of my crazy USB hubs. And so solar panel, charge controller, 
to this guy to my wall of USB hub. And then I literally took off grid all of my gadgets and components. So flashlights, all stuff. And honestly, if stuff went bad, I can get by with like this battery and a little setup. So, but let's test this out, shall we? So here's a little inverter. Hopefully this is all on camera. I just, I just put my quick connect things on, but these are standard, standard suckers on this battery. And there we go. Turn my inverter on. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, this is fully charged. I have it charged up because I haven't, haven't used it yet type of thing. It's because uh, I want to keep it good until I have this made. But then I have this... Uh, 200 watt heater from a company called Chick Cozy. So this is a little uh, safe heater for a chicken coop and it pulls 200 watts. So another thing I was thinking about doing, okay, so it pulling, when you fire it up, 250 watts to start it and then it'll drop down to about 200 watts. I think you can see that. But anyways, my, this little heater gives off a lot of heat from this battery. So this battery is 1,280 watts. This heater that could heat a well-insulated small chicken coop, okay, 200 watts, the heater pulls, 200 watts, so what is that, five? Just over five hours, you can have an electric heater in a small chicken coop just off their mini battery, the mini Redoto battery. So if you put two batteries together, you could have 10 hours, like as long as you have enough sun and solar, so you can get through a 10 hour night heating. Oh, that's nice and warm. Uh, chicken coop, which is, I thought was kind of, just gets my mind going, right? So now I, in the winter time, it can't have this freeze. So maybe you get the Redodo um, ones with the heater, so it'll charge to minus 20. So little chicken coop and, uh, a, f a few little solar panels, two of these batteries, and you can run for 10 hours at night. The uh, heater, instead of a 100-watt light bulb is what we did back in the day, but this Chick Cozy one is um, 200 watts, and it doesn't shine light, So, and it's safe, right? So, so this heater will run from this battery for almost five and a half hours. That is pretty cool for this little battery that you can lift up like this. Okay, I wanna see how much this weighs. It's like nothing, right? Um, okay, this little mini measure is a little over 10 inches or 26 centimeters by 13 centimeters or a little over five inches. And height is nine inches or 23 centimeters. Let's check the weight. So the little Redodo is exactly 20 pounds, which is nine kilograms. Like, wow, for 100 amp hours, that's like, can't complain about that. As opposed to this deep cycle battery that is actually a little more 100 Holy crap, that's heavy. 142 amp hours. 101 pounds. Okay. Which is 45 kilograms. So this does have a few more amp hours. This is five times lighter and has a handle on it. So yeah, that's about all I can tell you. Lithium iron phosphate batteries are getting more and more affo affordable thanks to companies like this. So support them. Um, so if you buy direct from them, their Canadian or their U.S. website, you can use my promo code that gets you an extra 4% off. I reached out, they uh, offered that to me. So that's coupon code Arcopia. I'll also put links in the description. But just hang on because their Black Friday sale, which is very, very soon here, if not right now by the time I do this video. Wait, they've got some very good deals. Um, they had one, like a Halloween one for a little bit uh, better. 
and then their Black Friday sale, but check them out. So redodo.com or whatever it is. Uh, I'll put the links, of course, and life is good, right? The things us preppers need and to get more personally responsible, some things actually coming down in price and free market companies like this giving us good deals. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Thank you.